Hi, I'm Chloe of Write Magazine, and today I'm with Bears and Trees. Hi! <laughs> today we're going to be playing some games with the band to get to know them slightly better. For round two, we have Who is Most Likely To? <gasps> <laughs> In which they have to say who is most likely to do the thing, effectively. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ian, George, Nick. Who's Nick? I am the wise for the test. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be the first to die in a horror movie? Ooh. Oh! Wow. Would you like to quantify? What I'm you alive. Know? Was what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you're you're you, are, you are very resourceful. Yeah, you you, you, you would survive. Yeah, you think you would? I. I don't want it to be me. I'll probably die of hunger or something first. <laughs> yeah. I would die something completely yeah, unrelated. Something unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is that you just you just go like running in and just you'd be like are you just like start attacking like karateing zombies. Yeah. With all, like, of, with all of the situations me. I've ever been in and I've not died yet. Why Nick? I just I think out of I don't know clumsiness. <laughs> I I would, I would trip and Nick, die. Yeah. <laughs> Fall oh, down the staircase. Yeah. Nick would get done in the toilet. <laughs> like, like that moth. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not talking about that. I'm gonna attack by a moth on the toilet. <laughs> Who has the worst taste in music? Oh. If it's subjective, okay, yeah. Then I know what I gotta do. Oh. I know what I gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I had to do. Yeah. This man would be like, yo, you've got to hear this. There's someone white noise in the car for half an hour. It's experimental jazz! <laughs> oh, he showed me, what was that like progressive, happy, deaf, neolithic metal band you showed me? <laughs> oh, you mean time. the symphonic death metal? They have a name that literally is meaningless, but they've got like, they're really cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. If you say so, Ian. Who would be down to live in a cave? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have in the past. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was just living in a cave for a bit. <laughs> and there's not very much more to that. Okay, why? Why? It was. Well, I don't think I can disclose the location. Okay, but why? <laughs> because I don't. I don't want it. To, why? Because I like rock climbing, and so there's some really good rock climbing in some places. But there's nowhere to stay other than just sleeping in a cave, and so you just stay in the cave. It's quite quite homely. You be amongst the bats. Who would? Spend all day interpreting a text. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the English the student. Yeah. yeah, English student hours, isn't it? Yeah. I'm also very neurotic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen I've seen them drawn crazy conclusions on stuff like high. <laughs> but they've capitalised this letter and you know, like they're kind of smiley -y sometimes. They can really. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, we're in the car and then we received a text um, with a nose in the smiley face and we were discussing. Mm. <laughs> we were like, Chloe like, immediately went, oh, he uses a nose. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a dark side? <laughs> Callum is too innocent. Like they've Everyone, everyone thinks Callum's but no, I know. <laughs> There's the darkness within him, <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> Just because one time I made a joke about killing a corgi. Who is most likely to fall asleep somewhere random. <laughs> Literally anywhere. <laughs> um, I think the only place I've not been able to fall asleep was like an actual concrete floor. Um, for the most part, I could literally just curl up in a corner. I slept under someone's desk once. Like, I, we were all watching a movie and I just slowly made my way under the desk and I fell asleep there. Do you remember New Year's Eve one year you just... Did you sleep through midnight? No, maybe you didn't. No, no. But we do you remember you just finding you asleep? Like, there was loud, oh. there was music, there were people around and you were there. People <laughs> have asleep drawn, no, you know when people draw on someone's face in the night? People literally have drawn all over me. There was this game that, that turned out very bad, they, they sometimes played, it was called Reverse Buckaroo. <laughs> or Buckaroo. You have to try and take my socks off. Who is most likely to be left behind on tour? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's mainly Ian, but... It could also be Nick. It yeah. could also be Nick. Could be one of these two. Ian would be like he'd like wake up on a weird foreign shore, and I'd spend too long in the toilet. Ian would either just meet someone and they'd be like, "Come do this, it's really cool," and Ian would just go and he'd disappear. We'd be on the tour bus and be fed up, like they're not here. Let's, Let's just go. go. Yeah. <laughs> we made a bet previously of what you guys would say for being left behind on on tour, and it, we said George. Interesting. No, George There's is so no charming. Because it's always the, the, the drummer. It's always the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> I see it, to be fair, the drummer's always the one that's still packing up their kit. Because <laughs> everyone else is like, cool, 
got my guitar, let's go. But it wouldn't be you because you would you would just like you would only exist between the tour bus and all the tech stuff and all this kind <laughs> of stuff. That's that's no one leaves until I <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you wanna dehydrate? Uh, yeah, well, I mean what I'm saying is I don't want it. If you get it now, you'd have it for the whole filming. Assuming I don't glug 